This is this afternoon's project, BT 75 subsoiler. We got some, we got two fields that we loaded with a loader in last year, and they're packed down very, very hard. So I'm gonna take the subsoiler. I got the GoPro sitting right there where you can watch it, and I'm gonna rip this ground up where uh, where we load it, where it's packed so hard, where we'll get a better green field this this year. So hang tight. So you can see that over there is summertime stuff we got planted. We didn't plant this side because it was so bad, so hard. We didn't throw in it. Laura ended up one side right here. This thing, if I sink it all the way down, it'll go like 32 inches deep. Now you'll find out what a tractor's made out of if you pull that thing and you drop it all the way down. This ripping broadcast here. Let's see. That thing focusing. Yeah. Hey, well, Kevin don't play, man. When he goes to cut some grass, there's Kevin's tractor mowing. There's a zero turn right there. That's Hunter. There's another zero turn. That's Abby. And there's Kevin on a 425 right there. shows up he don't play around he getting it <laughs> so I was over there ripping a the field and I saw all these yahoos come by me so I decided I'd ride up here to this house and see, see what they were doing Probably burning five gallons of gas an hour, probably between all those things, I bet. <laughs> That's a bad lawnmower right there, that 425. That's a horse. We've had that thing for a long time. 
Mama bought that thing last year. Dad's just fussing about something about how quick the blades wear out on it. This is what it looks like when it's done. Right, if you want to drive back over, you can drive back over and puck her down. But what, I'm, what we'll do now is, is we'll disc this. We get a little rain on this before I disc it. It'll be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Boy, it helps bust that hard pan up down there, though. Sure does. It does a good job. Here's our excavator right there. Here's the shooting house we're going to put up. Shooting house over there. So I think this is going to do it for me on Labor Day. Been laboring all day on Labor Day. But I wouldn't have it any other way, though. It's going to make the world go around, you know what I mean? We'll see y'all. So just in case, I don't think I showed this thing real good in the video, but here it is. I made this thing, and I tagged it when I made it. See, there's T.O. right there in 04. So I built that in 04, but I had to take my, uh, my quick hitch off because when I made this thing, I didn't make it. I just made it narrow on the hitch points here. And just put these, which was kind of a mistake to put those on there like that because I have bent those a little bit I've, from just hard pulling it with my other tractor that I had. But it works pretty good. This is just a uh, piece of tubing and then I, I plated it with some three quarter under the bottom and then I got it fixed to where the tooth bolts, bolts through these big piece of angle iron right here on the back. And then I've got these things here. I've got legs that go in right there and you pin them. And this thing will stand up when you unhook from it. It didn't have a tooth on it, so I just made a tooth. That's just uh, three quarter metal right there is all it is. And it's about three inches wide and with some sides on it. I just fitted, I just fitted over the end and welded it too is all I did. And then when I got up here, then I, I I blew this off where it would put it to a point right there on it, and I've got a uh, I've got a nut. And you see this wire right here. I've got a nut welded right there. And what this is for is uh, you can take PVC pipe, regular Schedule 40 PVC, and drill a hole. Go ahead and glue all your pipe together, and drill your hole through the end. Put a bolt through it and stick it through the loops on that wire right there and then take you some duct tape and tape up the end of the pipe real good so nothing gets in it and you can bury pipe with this thing you can drop it and it'll just pull that pipe right in the ground as far as you want to go with it and it'll, it'll bury it just as pretty as can be it's uh from the tip of the tooth all the way up to there is uh 32 inches that's what it'll go in the ground 
and uh, it works pretty good. And then this rack right here is to put a spool of wire. You put a pin, I got a pin that goes all the way through here, bolt a rod, a rebar, or anything will work. You put your spool of wire right there, and then I've got a long sweep schedule 80 steel uh, 90 that bolts right up in here somewhere as a hole goes all the way through this thing. And that PV, that uh, it's not PVC, it's steel pipe. It, it hangs down right here and it's got a long sweep 90 on it that comes out. And you feed that wire down through it and you can, you can bury the heck out of some wire with this thing too. Just direct, direct burial wire and it just puckers that ground just a little bit and when you get it done you just turn around and drive back over it and uh, you know just run the pucker back down and you, you don't even know it you ain't got a trench to fool with to cover up or nothing I put all this stuff on here because I knew that with this thing in the ground especially if I hook something with it you know a stump or something pretty hard with it I knew there's gonna be some force up here on this, so I put these this strong back on there and these braces on the sides. But it turned out pretty good for a homemade unit right there like that. This tooth is made out of one inch. One inch stuff's what it's made out of right there. Uh it's not regular mile still. I forget what that is, what I cut that out of. It's some T1 or something like that, I think, but Works pretty good. There's old Tater right there. Old Tater. Yep. So we've been working on Tater, a new pen over here. This is what me and Emma built that, built the deck Friday night. That's a 12 by 16. And then uh, we actually set it on today, set it on the pillars today. I was going to concrete it in the ground, but the, a lot of times the more I think about stuff, the better ideas I have before I do it. So, I thought about it, and I decided, listen, Eddie, listen. I thought about it, and I decided I'd just, I'd do it like that, and not concrete it, not concrete posts in the ground. See, I got the posts laying over there. I didn't even use them. That way, I can move it. I can pick it up. I had the forks on the skid steer. Y'all will see that in another video. And I pick it up and move it anywhere I want to. I gotta use two straps to hold to hold the far end of it to pick it up. But what I'm gonna do now is is I've got i am gonna buy one of those carport awnings to go over the top of it. It'll set like this, so it'll go over it right here. And I've got enough room up here on it to put two more of these pins. So there'll be three three pins on it. It'll all be under the shed right here. And I've got I've got electricity right over there, so I'm gonna get some direct burial wire and I'm gonna run it over here for some power right here for lights. And I've got water over there at that post right there, and so I'm gonna bury a line with the subsoiler from over there to over here, and I'm gonna put a frost-free faucet over here, probably on the back corner. I may put a pop it on the front corner here, maybe, but. I have it where I move it if I want to move it around or anything like that, which I doubt I ever will, but I'll have that option the way I've got it done now here and uh, do that. See, I already had the skid steer over here with the auger on it to, to drill the holes, but uh, I didn't didn't do that. So, listen at him down there. That dog was crazy, man. Look at him. He's psycho. He was riding on the four a while ago, and he just jumped slap off of it like an idiot. And just, Blew off of it, but I knew probably somebody, some people want to see that up close right there. So there it is, right there. Still very happy with the tractor. Very very happy with the tractor. Good tractor. Good power. Seventy-five horsepower in this size right here is a good, good combination for it. Very good. So hope y'all enjoyed all that. I'll catch y'all later. Later, Taylor.